Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a Java program to find the sum of the digits of a number, which is nothing but if we have the number, let us say 763, 763, then what we have to do is we have to separate the each digits of this number and we have to add them and we have to find the result. So here it will be nine plus seven. So it will be 16. Now, if you look at this here, then the order in which we are going to separate the digits of this number is not important. That is, you know, we can uh, separate the digits of this number from left to right or from right to left. So it will be same. It will not affect the result. That is seven plus six plus three will be equal to three plus six plus seven. So uh, in whichever the way we can uh, separate the digits and we can add the numbers. Now how we can separate the digits of a number. Now let's say we have the number 123. Now this number is in decimal number system. So what we do is we divide it by 10. So when we divide this number by 10, we check out the remainder and the quotient value. Here in this case it will be 12 is a 120 and we get 3 as the reminder. So here 3 is the reminder and this 12 is the quotient. Now if you look at this number 3 which is the reminder then it is the last digit of the number that we have here that is 123. Now we have found the last digit of this number. The remaining digits of this number are available as a quotient. So if you look at this here then we have 12 you know it contains the remaining digits now in order to separate this 12 you know in, in order to make them 1 and 2 we take 12 and we again divide it by 10 so this time it will be 2 as the reminder and 1 will be the quotient this 2 which we get as the reminder is the another digit of this number and we take this quotient 1 and we again divide it by 10 so it would be 1 divided by 10 this time the quotient will be 0 and we get the remainder as 1 so when we get the quotient as 0 it means that we have processed all the digits of the number and we can stop uh, dividing and when we perform this division operation the remainder value will contain the digits of the number now how are we gonna use this in our program and calculate the sum of the digits of the number. Now first we will use a variable and we will call it as sum and we will initialize this with a value of 0 and in another variable we will take the number for example this time let's say 3 2 1. Now what we do is as long as this number variable contains a value greater than 0 we will divide the number variables value by 10. So we will use a while loop and the condition will be number greater than zero. So as long as this number variable contains a value greater than zero, we want to do some particular operation. And that is first, we want to find out the remainder value when we divide number by 10. So we will perform number modulus operation and 10 and we get the remainder value. Now we know that this remainder value that we get is the one digit of that number. So what we do is we will add that to the sum variables value. So we will write sum equal to sum plus reminder. After that, what we have to do is we have to find the other digits and we have to separate them and we have to add them to the sum variables value. And here we know that the other digits can be found in the quotient value when we divide number by 10 and what we do is we will store that back in the number variable and we will make this loop run until this quotient value becomes zero or this number variable contains a value zero so here with every iteration of this while loop it will separate the each digits of the number and it will calculate the sum of that so once we come out of this while loop in the sum variable we have the sum of the digits of a number now here we are performing the division operation and that's why we get the quotient value and here we are using this modulus operator and that's why we get the reminder value so now let us see how we can implement this in a java program here i have written some code i have created the package example and then i have the class digits and inside this class i have the static void main method 
Now here inside this class, let us declare the variables that we are going to use. The first variable is for storing the number for which we want to find the sum of the digits of the number. So I'm going to initialize this right here and I'm not going to take the input from the user. I want you to make that modification. And after that, we need another variable for storing the sum. And I will initialize this with the value of zero. We need another variable for storing the reminder value that we are going to calculate. Now, after this, we will use a loop. And uh, here I'm going to use the while loop. As long as this number variable contains a value greater than zero, we want to perform a set of operations. And that is first we want to find the reminder. So we will write reminder equal to number modulus operator and then 10. And after that, we will add the reminder variables value to the sum variables value. So we will write sum equal to sum plus reminder. And after that, we have to find the other digits of the number or the quotient and we have to store that back in the number variable. So we will perform number divided by 10. We get the quotient value this time and we will store that back in the number variable. So here for the first iteration of this while loop, the number variable will contain the number one, two, three that we have initialized in here. And after that first iteration, every time the number variable will contain the quotient value that is calculated inside this uh, while loop. And when this quotient value becomes zero, this while loop will stop. Or when this number variable contains that zero, the while loop will stop. So once we come out of this while loop inside the sum variable, we have the sum of the digits and we will print that out to the screen. So I'm going to use system dot out dot print F. And here I'm going to say sum of the digits is percentage D and we will display the value present in the sum variable. Now I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run this sum of the digits is six. That's because the number is one, two, three, one plus two plus three, which is equal to six. Now here you can write this program in uh, multiple ways and you can make it much more simpler. We can eliminate the use of this reminder variable. Uh, we can write it without using the reminder variable. So what we have to do is when we find the reminder value, we have to directly add that to the sum variable. So we can write in here as sum equal to sum plus number modulus 10. And, uh, you know, we can further simplify this and we can here we can write here sum plus equal to number modulus 10, you know, which will be same as sum equal to sum plus number modulus 10. And here also we can uh, simplify this one and we can make it number divided by equal to 10. And, uh, you know, it will be equal to number equal to number divided by 10. Now I want you to make a change and that is here we are specifying the number directly. I want you to ask the user to enter the number and uh, you have to take the input from the user and you have to um, display the sum of the digits of the number. After making the modification to your code, post it in the comment section. I'm going to take a look at it and if you make any mistakes, then I'll let you know. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then uh, please write that in the comment box. If you think this video will help any of your friends, then uh, do share this video. Thank you for watching. See you later in the next video.